Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The interest rate cut of June 2024 didn't really do anything, even though it was a 0.25%, but it seemed like it made the real estate even worse than we have anticipated. So why is that? If you're wondering where I am currently, I am in downtown Oakville, which is a pretty, pretty beautiful area. And this downtown core is definitely something you should come down, take your kids, come for a walk. It is stunning and it is beautiful. But I would like to talk to you about this uh, particular phenomena that happened after the rate cut of June 2024, because most uh, people, including the media, have anticipated after the rate cut, we will go back to normal and this is what will happen. Everybody thought, look, buyers will come uh, will come back, uh, they will start uh, searching, uh, they will start buying, they would start getting back into the market. But what actually happened after the rate cut, we have seen the inventory spike. So yes, in theory, every time you have uh, interest rate uh, cut uh, goes lower, uh, technically the home prices and the home value increases dramatically, significantly, and you have a surge of buyers flocking into the market, trying to get into the market. Because everyone knows interest rates go down, home prices go up, very simple math. But in this scenario, actually what we have seen, interest rates went down and the inventory spiked like crazy. So why is that? Uh, there are probably many, many, many reasons why that is. But one of them is that the sellers are reading the same news. So if they're already in a depression and they're having a hard time with their finances for months or even years now, you know, they're reading all these headlines saying, oh, interest rates will go down, uh, home prices will increase, it's the right time to buy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in that case, the sellers say, hey, look, now it is my opportunity to get rid of some uh, debt that I'm carrying, uh, carrying for a long time and let me kind of ease off uh, on, on all the um, burdens that I'm currently carrying. So I think that is, that is actually what happened. So the seller said, okay, this is probably one of those opportunities uh, in 2024 where I will list my house and I will actually get all these buyers that are uh, waiting for months for that rate cut and it actually happened and here you go. Now is the chance, now let me list and let me sell my house for the highest profit ever. Well, that didn't happen. Number one, the inventory spiked like crazy. Number two, the buyers felt that that uh, interest rate drop of 0.25% was not significant for majority of buyers to pull that trigger and to say, hey, listen, this actually makes sense, right? Because even just rough math uh, of half a million, uh, half a million mortgage uh, amount with the 5% interest rates on a 25 year amortization, you're looking close to $3,000 a month, right? A lot of people cannot really afford that. If, you, if we put that number uh, anywhere in a million dollar range at a 5% uh, 5 interest rates on a 25 uh, year amortization rate, you're looking, you know, close to $6,000 of monthly payments, then I don't know, you might have uh, maintenance fees, you might have taxes, you might have uh, your life uh, that got more expensive over these years, right? So I think adding all of these uh, things up, I think the buyers just like uh, said, look, like we, we will wait uh, for something more significant to happen in order for us to actually pull the trigger. And now the sellers are in that particular situation when they're like, okay, so what is going on with the market? Now, now the rate cut is right there. Uh, there's that inventory on the market, but the buyers, you know, they're just relaxing right now and they're looking at the market where it's gonna head. So uh, with some statistics right now, like Vancouver, 
June 2024 had 19.1% drop in June 2024. Uh, Calgary had 12.8% drop and Toronto had 16.4% drop. If we're looking at data from historical data, June of 2024 was the, 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 the biggest drop in the last decade. So the last 10 Junes, this June of 2024, was the worst June uh, in terms of that real estate price drops. So there's definitely something to think about. And uh, uh, looking forward now, like in July 24th, right? Like at the, the, the July 24th of 2024, the Bank of Canada will sit down and they will kind of see where to take their next step, whether they will uh, keep those interest rates remain the same, whether we will see another interest rate drop, which is something that uh, definitely a lot of people are anticipating. So uh, definitely uh, there has to be a more aggressive push when it comes to these interest rate drops in order for the buyers and just the housing affordability to come to an equilibrium because the rest of us cannot really catch up, right? Like uh, gas prices went up, you know, groceries, the food, the life in general went up, insurance policies went up, everything went up. And now we're having this housing crisis. We have to live somewhere. Uh, and, and it comes down to that particular housing affordability, right? Uh, is the solution moving out of the city? Well, maybe, maybe moving out of the city, you, you, you get a better, um, price point, you get a better value, you get a better product, but can everyone really travel to work two hours in each direction, right? So that's something that a lot of people took into consideration uh, because they were, you know, squeezed uh, on so many levels and they had to think outside the box. And that happened to be that particular answer in their life moving out of the city. But a, a lot of people do not like uh, living outside the particular core. And even there, you know, uh, I would say employment is definitely harder uh, finding uh, something like that in their maybe genre, uh, you know what I mean, outside the city. So let's see what is going to happen. Uh, 2024 is going to be a definitely interesting year. Uh, and in my opinion, it can go both ways. It, it can either i'm not gonna say tank but like like i i do not believe that there's gonna be any soft landings either we're gonna go this way or we're gonna go that way so i hope uh you got something out of this video please like share and subscribe uh and see you all next time